stood out like gobstoppers. She said, Fred, will you come and sleep with me? And he said, you've got to wait till we're married. So they kissed, and he walked down the road thinking, I wish I'd washed my bleeding feet. And I was fascinated the way she held a cigarette in one corner of the mouth and stuck chips down the other side. <laughs> Refuse to serve. What does that mean? I joined the army to soldier, not a spy. You lying. Somebody is. Don't listen to him. He convinced the devil to give him a glass of water. You should know Dermot. After all, you are his partner. Dermot's everybody's partner. You might think he's your agent. A cover for the channeling of funds across the Irish seas. But I checked the accounts at the Maverick. And you'll find, when you come to audit those accounts... Shut your cop, Klein. You'll find that Dermot's loyalties lie with the Dermot McAvoy account. <laughs> Bastard! Oh, shit. read in your letter the mention of the man Khan with heartbreak and dismay. Remember what he is and from what country he comes. Fantastical boss. 
but I'm just big, black, and beautiful. Now, you're Miss Sarah Gant, right? Uh huh. Mrs. Sarah Gant. <laughs> yes. Right. Now, can you see them? See what, boss? Then. What? The stitches. Oh, well. Don't touch. Boss, the only thing I could see is the stars in your eyes. If I was a shit, I'd go for him myself. <laughs> the only purpose of our forthcoming meeting is for mutual profit, your backs. <laughs> Foxy? This lady is Foxy. Mm. <laughs> Backs more than a, a flick of mint in her handbag. Caress my bum as late was the last speech of summer. <laughs> <laughs> no accounting for taste. Hey, boss, why didn't you sort of just stick this down your inside leg, eh? Even if you don't need it, it's bound to impress. Yeah. Fancy doing a tour with your double act? Mm -hmm. Good. You can check out all the girls on the game in the ghetto. Tomorrow I might want to list the ladies or scrub up to club level. A second team of tarts to do a turn in the taxis. And finally, for the rest of the old boilers, a reorganization that means if they want to stay in the battery, then they better agree to step up the rate they lay. OK? For Sarah Gant. Fine, show the gentleman up. It's open. Why, if it ain't Zorro himself. Hey? Come on in, baby. Glad you could find the time to come up and see me. It's a bit dark in here, isn't it? Want to show your feathers? What? The suit. It's, um, more than enough. More than? I don't know what you mean. Whether it's too much or, you know, too much. Oh, it's beautiful, baby. I thought we were having dinner. Hmm, eating makes you fat. Let's go somewhere else first. Fine. Where do you want to go? To a town. I'm just a stranger in it. Plenty of places. Restaurants, discos, clubs. A club. Plenty of them. Mm, the Maverick Club. The Maverick? Why say that? Well, I saw the sign somewhere once. What's the matter? You got to be a ghost to show there or something? Something like that. There's a guy in charge of the place I don't want to see just yet, OK? What's his name? Does it matter? India for money. How come you're scared of him? It's a long story. I'll fix him when the race conditions are wrong for him and right for me, OK? Oh, I just love dominant males. Come on, baby. One rat in 20 is a leader, and you're it. Right. So, seeing as you're not wearing the second colors, let you and me go to this uh, Maverick Club. Look, I've told you. OK, 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 OK. We'll stay here. Want to smoke? What have you got? Mm, got a little Mexican or Colombian red? Either. Any. Both? Lock the door. Mama wants you to be yourself, baby. 
Mama wants you to relax and not worry about one thing. Come on, Mr. Mallison. Let's you and me make a few smoke signals at each other. So this girlfriend of mine, she said, come over tomorrow night. Mom and Dad are going out. We'll have a smashing night of love. She said, but don't forget to call in the chemist and get a packet of uh, cough drops. <laughs> so I called him. I went over the next night. And the old man came to the door. And he said, come on in. And when I got inside, he said, would you like to go to the opera tonight? I said, I would. And away we all went to the opera. During the interval, Mum and Dad went for a drink. And she turned on me and she said, you lousy, rotten swine. I thought we were going to stay in tonight and have a night of love. She said, you never told me you liked opera. I said, no, you never told me. Your old man was a chemist, either. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Julie Del Roy. Here. Mm -hmm. You all right? Mm, you? Mm. Hey, it's still fast take. Why did you uh, come to me? I wanted the best of the up-and-comers. There was a white man named McCline. And you, a black boy with the world to win. Uh, where are you from? New York's where I live. My work's anywhere there's profit to be had from... Uh, Intimate entertainment. Now's the time. Here? Hmm, businessmen with expense accounts means the nightlife of this town's gonna go boom. The law. Pay them off. I will, sure, if I'm in. Why, if? Leave my hat alone. Look, if me and you are gonna become partners, then I need to know. You, that is. I'll prove myself, baby, where it counts. Up front organizing the hookers in their action. Now, me? Well, I'm taking a risk with you at my back. I mean, seeing as it's cards face up on the table time, what have you done exactly? My form will stand scrutiny. Oh, yeah? I was the arm of the guy who used to run this town. Mm, where is he? Dead. <laughs> Some arm. Big hand all round. <laughs> I did all he asked. More than that. <laughs> Muscle, threats, a kicking or two. Soldier stuff. Give me a dime and I'll buy two dozen. Look, I've been all the way there and back, you know? No. The guy said to me, find this man, this Klein fella. Me, I sorted it out. Found out the lady who was hiding him, tracked Klein down, gathered him in, delivered him up, and shut that stripper's mouth for all time. You ever killed anybody? I brought a few to the point of exhaustion. Mm. Well, you say that life there, it's got to stop. And I'm going to do it. How? Heroin. O.D., right? You feel the hype. And you find the vein. And you insert the needle into the thin brown arm. The blood runs and the pure stuff just flows in. The dermic fills with blood. Hair blood. You don't think about it. Your mouth and throat feel dry. Tidy up the flat, scatter a few needles about, and Bob's your uncle. You close the door on Little Miss Dynamite, lying there, dead on the bed. <laughs> anyone can kill anyone, but it's the actual getting away with it that calls for something else. You'll be running with the real thing, you know that. No, I do. We're going to merge our talents. Why not? This intimate entertainment you mentioned. Do you give free samples? Not usually. You can stick that down on my company account.
two little lads, seven years of age, talking. The one said, what do you think about this sex business? The other one said, he gives me a pain in the neck. He says, you're not doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, will you please put your hands together and welcome on stage the wonderful voice and personality of Miss Ina Caballo. Time for you, Bella. Say good night to Uncle. Good, good night, Uncle. Good night, Ashi. Good night, Bella. We'll all play again tomorrow. Good, good night, night, Bella. Good night, Ashi. Careful. Just shares? Yes. Do the children normally go to bed this time? It is much later for them than is usual. Will they have school tomorrow? Yes. How's the school? <laughs> they teach them to be English people. But of course. Jashir says that when... Hmm? Let us talk of you. Why do you molest me and my children? I want to help you. I want to help Jashir to avoid the consequences of taking revenge outside the law. The law? Your law and their law? What about our law? Let me be open and honest to you. I seek to assist Jashir from here. But from here, I seek to assist you. This. There is a law of attraction between man and a woman. I find myself a servant under that law. And me? Me? What about me? For you, one night or nights. For me, even should my husband not return to destroy me, I will be cast from my family. Those same children you so admire would spit at my memory. When you tire of me, I will have nothing. No family, no relations, no husband, no children, no house, only empty life to live. Please leave, Mr. God. I still wish to help you. Please allow me to. I spoke to Ashi and Bella about swimming tomorrow. I shall see you tomorrow. <laughs> I was walking down the street with in Belfast with my mate Murphy, and this great big funeral went by, and I said, I wonder who's dead. He said, it must be the fellow in the coffin. <laughs> <laughs> and now, 
You saw a little of it in the first half. You're going to see a whole lot more of it in the second half. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Julie Delroy. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Klein. So glad I caught you. Pretend you didn't. I must see you. Yeah, tomorrow. No, right now, Mr. Klein. Shall we adjourn to your office? How can I be what I ain't? I can't say no. What the hell have you been up to, Mr. Klein? What's up? The Nationality Squad been picking up pieces of Irishmen from all around the building site. Well, they had a hoolie up on the 18th floor, and I'm afraid there was a general falling out among friends. Dermot McAvoy, how did he fit in? He'd been milking some funds that had a fancy to stick me with the bill. I pointed out the errors in his account. He lost his head and his footing. And his life? Funds don't bounce. OK, what's really bugging you? Before coming here, I telephoned the head of my department. Very unfamiliar voice answered. The mystery voice. My chief has suffered a heart attack. He's unconscious. This affects me? Yes, Mr. Klein, this does affect you. The only reason you are free is on his authority. His replacement may not be so flexible, given your president's standard of performance. I'm just a dummy on the end of your string. Then you must take the offensive against Malison. Make a big enough splash. Perhaps the consortium people will see you at the next big boss to the gangster land. Just fix where I can get the drop on Malison. You'll get a big enough splash. All right, but things must happen. I must have names, Mr. Klein. I need something to justify your remaining at liberty. Mm. You've got a great deal to lose, Mr. Klein. Including 10 years added on to my sentence if I make a balls up. One thing, when I get to Malison, how far do I go? All the way. तो इसका एक्सप्लेनेशन क्या एक्सप्लेनेशन ये है ना कि वो लड़का जो आया था ना वन वीक कौन सा लड़का दैट बॉय विद ग्रीजी है which boy with greasy hair? That is stupid boy. He has not turned up. Why has he not turned up? Ab dekhi na subah uska telephone aaya tha ki bibi ko bachcha hone wala hai. I have got pains in the tummy. Wah, wah! This is Ab... this is rich. <laughs> yani his wife is pregnant and he has got pains in the tummy. It is not easy. It's, it's not, not easy. easy to be the captain of a ship. Oh no, I agree. We are saying the same thing. We are not saying the same thing. We are not. Yes, what is it, Kuldeep? Why are you disturbing us? Here, over here, Mr. Rafiq. Confidence, Mr. Rafiq. Akira Barton. Nani African. Bar Guratman. Big white man cry. Then go and bring him in. Sir. Huh? I'm thinking. What to do? What? What? Do? <laughs> My dear Gordon, what a pleasant surprise. How is the property market? Bloody awful. How's the supermarket? Oh, bloody awful. Just passing. Thought I'd pop in, give you a bit of a forewarning. About what? Seems the MD's making rude noises about the drop in profits. But the MD knows I've been in Rotterdam. He knows why. MD does. Huh? What he'd like to know is how long will it be before normal service is resumed? The rest of us wouldn't say no to some return on our original investment, either. Uh, the Blackbird, the new immigrant route, commences tomorrow. And nobody's more anxious about it than myself, especially now, when I could use the first arrivals to staff my warehouses, my restaurants, even here. That'll be something to tell him. Can I also add that other enterprises are being reactivated? Such as what? Such as narcotics. I have only so much time, Gordon. 
And then on top of it, the media keep pestering me to defend the cause of the Asian against the rise of the fascist party. Then delegate, Rafi, delegate. Yes, but uh, it is a matter of trust. I'm seeing the chairman soon. Should I tell him that you're finding things a bit much for you? Oh, no, no, no. It'll be all right. In fact, I'm seriously considering a new chap, a chap called Klein. I shall decide about him one way or another in a few days. Fine. A few days, then. Oh, uh, one final thought. This pilot, Miles Ford Smith, could be a bit of a fly-by-night, see what I mean? Never done this sort of thing before we here. Oh, his business went crashing down, poor chap. He'll be all right. Uh, tell the MD I vouch for him. Hmm. All the same, why not give him a little test under the counter, offer a bit of money on the side? See if he's honestly dishonest or not. I'm playing golf with him this morning. Good place, the golf course. <laughs> really find out what a chap's like. <laughs> we must have a game sometime. Yes, I'd enjoy that. Sorry I can't add no more to the score. Got to get moving. Oh, tonight's another night. Will I see any of the girls before then? Oh, my place late this afternoon before they go on a night shift. I'll get them up one at a time and you can cast your expert's eye on them. But don't expect them to look as good as you, though. Won't well, troops of exotic ladies attract busybodies on the vice squad? Plain clothes might. Yeah. I know a place. Just a place for interviewing personnel. I'll check it out and let you know where and when. If I'm not in, leave a message. Sure. Then be careful. To carry protection. What do you mean? This kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ever used one? Only for sport. Well, take it. You'll be surprised how much weight it gives to your personality. No, thanks. The law pick you up. They've got you on an unlicensed gun charge. So you won down right from the start. Sure. Yep. Mm. I'll check you as soon as interviews are fixed. Mm, fine. We seen your brown eyes. Uh-huh. Mm. Now, according to these records, you were paid last Thursday. You should have had a gyro right at your house last Thursday. Now, look, it said here Tuesday, but you came Wednesday. OK. The lads are spaced about inside the door. <laughs> He'll find some employment when Mallison arrives, all right. <laughs> I hope he's on time. It's nearly 10.45. <coughs> Restless night, Mr. Klein? <sighs> yeah, somewhat, Mr. Carr. <sighs> Miss Delroy is a lovely companion. Yeah, she tends to keep you up at all hours. Soon all be happening. Last. Watch that ball, boy. Kuldeep, follow that ball. Now remember, do not disturb the lie. There's money involved. Money, 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 money. That's rather a nasty hook you've developed, Miles. <laughs> oh, it comes and goes. I saw a professional once. The best advice he could give me was to aim for the adjoining fairway. No, not there, chum. Further towards the tree. Kuldeep, darakht ke pass nearer the trees. Tomorrow we start, what do you call it? The, oh, the Blackbird flights, eh? Yes, all is arranged, accommodation and such. And Kuldeep will be there waiting to take them off your hands. A lucrative business, eh? A thousand each a time. <laughs> yes, and only you and I know just how many illegal immigrants were ferried across at the back of your plane. Mm. <laughs> no, that's not mine. <laughs> yes, that's true. So, if you should wish to cram in a few more fee-paying passengers, it's, I shall not inform the shareholders. As so long as some of that extra money finds its way into my own hip pocket. Yes. No, I'm sorry, Raffi. If I'm going to be a crook, I'd sooner bend just one way at a time. <laughs> but thanks, just the same. Fair enough, Miles. 
Forget completely that I even ever asked. Oh, where's that chap, Kuldeep? Kuldeep, any luck? Well done, my boy. Not a bad lie, either. Certainly have a bash of that. Give me a nine-iron, will you? Where there's life, a uh, nil desperandum and all that. Good shot, Miles. And beautifully caddied, Kuldeep. Any word on your boss? He died at four o'clock this morning. What happens now? I don't know.
Thanks for coming. We gotta stick together. What kept you? I got here late. I saw that client fella going in. So I gathered some of the brothers and sisters and tell them that some white fascists in there were about to demonstrate against social security for blacks. <laughs> hey, look, man. It's what his client would want, eh? My name on a death certificate. <laughs> We'd flogged so much of our blood to the hospitals out there, we felt like we'd been permanent guests at Count Dracula's castle. But the money kept us going. No pity out there, man. You die, you're forgotten. Fire of water, that's all your dead body can expect. And then... Jill and I, we used to... So I'd look to all these screwed up Muslim men and not offer them sex. And sometimes they'd watch. And Who is this guy? Sometimes they'd take part. Oh. But they'd always I thought it was a party political broadcast. <laughs> we went on like no. that till we got He killed himself some months ago. Break. A consignment of new stuff That's from right. Hong huh? Kong. Yes. 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 People who need people. What could I do? Choose somewhere where being a white man's not such a disadvantage. It's a setback, nothing more. For me, as usual. Yeah? Yeah, speaking. When? Uh, what's she look like? What's your name? Say your name was. Dinah Carmichael. Okay. Put it on the speakers. What? That chick pretending to be Dinah left a message on tape. Silly cow, I'll kick her ass when I catch up. Ina, do us a favor, will you? Hello, John. John Clyde. Are we ever going to meet up? I've waited such a long time, but you never called. We've heard so much to talk about. I'll get this number at four this afternoon. 246-8292. Now I'll repeat that. 246-8292. I look forward to seeing you. All my love, Diana. You intend to call this number at four? You bet your boots. This guy. I went right down the ship for him. Everything. <laughs> in the 60s, having your passport stamped in the East didn't guarantee a shakedown at customs, so. Roy got it. He got hooked on the stuff. He became impotent. I thought it was me. You stupid bitch! <laughs> well, well, I couldn't cure him. So finally, just to keep him company, I started to fix it. How did your relationship with Roy finish? It terminated. God. I wasn't there. I wasn't there. I drifted around. God. Trying to fix up enough courage to take the trip down the line to He must have used a touch of it. Finally, I worked for this guy here in the Midlands. He called me his secretary. He gave me all the stuff I wanted. He told me what to do. At least he was honest. He didn't pretend to be concerned or love what he didn't. Anything I can do? I haven't cried like that for years. Yeah, it's supposed to make you feel better. There's only one thing that makes me feel better, and I'm not going to get a supply here. I know how this place works. I can get a release with a series of supply scripts that'll buy me time to get organized again. What do you want? You to pretend that you're mine straight, ever-loving, caring boyfriend. If they can believe that I'm into a relationship that's halfway healthy, they'll let me go. Send me a series of supplies through the post. Once you take me through that door, you can go one way and I'll go the other. 
Well, what do you say? Will you see the doctors? Well, I've got some business to attend to, but uh, I'll tell them we're going to get married. No, there's no need to. You're going to tell lies. Make them as big as ours. Klein. What's your name? John? Yeah. Okay, lady. I'll be there. Sorry, I thought you were somebody else. Yeah, story of my life. Is this the old Milner place? I hope so. Car. Oh, hi, this yes. is the place. Do come in. Thanks. That way. Yes, that way. Ha, ha, ha. 
Alright, come on, let's have a party.